Welcome Scorpio, I'm Juanita and we're going to be looking at the next two weeks for you and what is going on. No matter when you see this video, it will apply to you. Okay, and um, yeah, see if there's anything that comes up can help you, that can help you through this time. Sorry, my words just kind of like snuck out with no noise. Okay, the Sacred Forest Oracle. First off, and Osho Zen Tarot Scorpio. I was thinking of using another deck for the clarification, but I really like the Osho Zen. Like, I relate to it, and it really tells me a story, you know. Um, even if, like with Libra before, I was very cryptic. <laughs> so, I'm sure you'll be a lot easier to read. <laughs> Not that it wasn't easy. I do like the cryptic, but it was just like it, a lot stumped me. But anyway, okay, Scorpio, let's have a look here. We'll just get these organized here. Okay, first card up reflecting pool, stillness. Um, Scorpio, I feel like there are some of you who need to look at the beauty. That you possess within. I feel like some of you um, focus on the things that you think are wrong with you um, instead of looking at what is right about you. Okay, I know that there's this need to look at our shadow self and that's fine, but when we're looking at that shadow self, Scorpio, we're not beating ourselves up for that. Okay, we're looking at it so that we can dissolve it and embrace it and love all of who we are. Okay, so this is very important for you to look at the shadow self with love. Um, and remember, Scorpio, everybody has those traits and has things that need to be worked on and um, need to be addressed, okay? Uh, I feel like you're really quite hard on yourself, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just going to write here, be kind to yourself. Maybe we'll have that as a title. I, I often forget, like, by the time I get to the end of the reading, there's so much that comes out, and I'm like, I, I don't even really remember it after the reading, so I'm like, what am I even going to call this? <laughs> okay, so we've got comparison. Yes, Scorpio, this is about comparing yourself to others. Okay, realizing that your capabilities are just as uh, valuable as the next person's, okay? Um, the other thing about this card here, Scorpio, is there's the two trees growing here, both with, you know, a lot of, um, a lot to give, you know, there's, um, bamboo that can be used for so many things, and then this other tree here that can be used for other things, you know, so not one tree is better than the other. Um, and I feel as though you look at yourself as less than. And I feel as though you look at yourself as though you're not enough. Um, and in between the trees here, Scorpio, is the stillness that exists. Okay, so this also being stillness here, it's important for you to get into that space. Okay. And um, and really reflect on the beauty within and the beauty without. This is definitely, this is, it's like there's this battle going on with you and you um, and there's no, no winners that come out at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, I feel as though you really need to cut yourself some slack, okay, um, in a sense. This could be Scorpio about dealing with this inner child 
in loving this inner child, okay? Um, there's things that you need to look at which may seem very insignificant, which will actually teach you a lot. I'm not sure that how that's applying here. Ah, it's the stillness that seems... non-existent to you but is the reason for existence it's kind of like there's something that it's like when you go into the stillness and actually embrace that you're going to it's like these things that are just going to make sense to you and you're going to be able to see how a grasshopper could teach a master so much Okay, I feel like some of you need to embrace and accept the master within you, okay, because some of you feel like you're a grasshopper and you would have nothing to teach anyone, but in fact you've got ample to teach people. Okay, so moonlight enchantment, magic, I love this, um, there is um, this, there's this path right whether you're on it or not Scorpio I'm not entirely sure yet um but I feel as though there's there's this sense of like with magic right well not not really understanding how it's happening but seeing that it is um and I feel like there's this need to just accept it okay the other thing with this Scorpio is that I feel like there's this fear of walking down a path of the unknown for you. Okay, it's the fear of the unknown, just like magic, right? You don't understand it. I don't get it. I can't see what's coming, so I'm afraid. You can't see what's in the shadows. Even though it's a full moon and the path is somewhat lit in, there's still aspects that you're afraid of. And um, I feel as though... You need to just walk it anyway, okay? Participation. There's, um, it's kind of like this gathering. I feel like this gathering of, um, of what? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Let me just get another card because I don't know. It could be a gathering. That's coming up for you. What's this? Turning in. Okay, participating. Participating in. Um, oh, I don't even know. I these. I haven't got that. Okay, you're getting all cryptic on me now, Scorpio. Dang it. <laughs> There's something here. There's something here, though, but it's just not coming through. But that's all right. Let's go into turning in. Okay, there's, there's, this, there's this overthinking, overthinking about things, and it's causing quite a stir for you. Okay. Um, okay, this participation, I feel as though... You need to come within this heart space. Come out of your mind and into your heart space. Okay, because I'm seeing how everything, these symbols here all gather into the same space here. They all come into the same space. And this is what this stillness is. It's the same space that everything exists in. Okay, so it's actually participating in the existence of the stillness yes Scorpio yes okay and also I want to say we have two fours here okay and um I feel like some of you feel like you're missing out on something and it could be 
some kind of gathering that is happening for some of you. Might even be just one of you. But anyhow, Wild Rose Fairy. Love. Maybe you feel like you're missing out on love. This lady, this girl's eyes freak me out though. Maybe love freaks you out. Because it's like, they're not kind of like, I don't know, there's something strange. Maybe love freaks you out. Maybe you've given yourself, like opened yourself up to love before and you've gotten hurt. Um, maybe love is coming at you really quickly and it's freaking you out. Maybe that is why you're in this state of comparison. Maybe you would love to have love come in but you're so busy comparing yourself and not seeing the beauty within that what you're attracting, like what you're actually vibrating out isn't attracting what it is that you want. Like there's this vision that you have in your mind or this idea that you have in your mind, but your vibration is sending something out into the universe, okay? And so it's not bringing in what it is you want. So the creator Yes, see, again, the stillness, Scorpio, of going within. It's very, really interesting because these messages seem to come up so much in the readings and often I feel like I'm just repeating myself. But, hey, maybe that's because it needs to be heard. We have maturity. See, this is the beginning of something passionate. Okay, this is allowing something to grow. And, and, and the thing is, Scorpio, is that what is it that we want to grow? What is that actually that we are growing? Because being the creator, it is up to us what we grow. It's not up to anyone else. What seeds are you planting, Scorpio, that are going to help you grow a garden full of flowers or a garden full of weeds? Okay, so when we're looking at love here, this is what we're looking at. Okay, are you going to grow something that um, is you thinking badly about yourself and you comparing yourself to others and looking at yourself as ugly? Is that what you really want to grow? Because if it is, which is kind of what is, is or has been happening, right, then, you know, that, that's what you will attract in love or in anything in your life, okay? Um, but it, it really does start with ourselves, right? What we put in is what we project out, okay? So if you want to attract a loving relationship, you need to begin to be loving to yourself, Yeah? It sounds so cliche, I know, but it is absolutely 100% unequivocally true. That's undeniable. You have to do that for yourself. Believe me, Scorpio, you do. Pegasus transcend, transcending. So the thing is, Scorpio, that once you actually do this for yourself, what you do attract, what kind of love you do attract, will absolutely surpass Anything that you could imagine, it will be like a freaking fairy tale, <laughs> okay? Um, and, and a part of this fairy tale, I feel like you're afraid of that. That scares you. It's kind of like, I really, really want that, but please don't go too high. Like, please don't go, don't be too magical, <laughs> you know? And, um... Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you keep yourself suppressed out of fear. You keep yourself down. Um, and, and that's with those thoughts, right? It really, really is. You're keeping yourself tied to this um, idea that you can't possibly have what it is that you want. Okay, so it really is about getting creative and seeing how you can really step into um, creating something for yourself. You know, someone, sorry, I just got this other message coming here. 
Some of you, this could very well be about um, creating a career for yourself that you really, really, really love. Okay, and um, and it could very well be looking at how it is that you can start out with that. Um, and how it is that you can make that grow. And, and everything here still applies to whatever it is that is going on for you, Scorpio. So whatever the scenario is, it's still the same thing. It starts from within. Okay. Um, if there is something that you're doing that you don't love, then it's time to search for other things to do that you actually enjoy. Because it's only going to bring more of what you don't love. Okay, dragonfly spirit change. This is this change is in the air, right? There is, and 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 I have a feeling that there is some of you that are really afraid of this change. You you're actually afraid of of kind of the growth that could happen. It's like you're. You're fighting the growth, but also I want to say that for some of you, there's, because I just, with this armor that this guy has on here, and you know, it's obviously saying fighting, um, I just feel like some of you are continuously ready for a battle, um, you're ready for things to go wrong, and I feel as though that um, that actually is it's stopping change from happening in your life. We have we have fighting, we have playfulness, and we have friendliness. So what I feel like for you, Scorpio, is it's really important for you to let your guard down. And almost go to the other extreme of becoming quite transparent. Okay, really let that, that take that armor off. Okay, but doing it in a way which is fun for you, which still, yes, Scorpio, you have to step out, step out of your comfort zone to do that. But what's going to happen is once you do, that's actually going to allow things to come together for you okay that's going to allow you to put out a, a vibration that will attract like-hearted individuals to you okay and the other thing I wanted to say before and then I decided not to but now I'm going to because it's coming back is looking at Scorpio what it is that you're filling up your cup with because what you want to attract into your life is people who have a full cup okay if you have an empty cup Scorpio that you're not filling up because you're so busy comparing yourself to others okay and and um, suppressing your feelings and not letting things out um, you're not opening up for yourself to create something that is what you envision your life to be so you have to look at what it is you've got this empty cup which is the beginning of a new journey which is change you have the ability to fill that cup up with whatever you like are you going to fill it up with mud or are you going to fill it up with pure crystalline water okay so really taking that into consideration because when you do Fill your cup and, and you have your cup here. For example, Scorpio, you meet someone or you go to a job interview or whatever it is, right? And you have your cup and they have their cup. Do you want someone's cup to be empty or do you want it to be filled with crystalline water? Do you, will you accept, if you've filled your cup with crystalline water, are you going to accept a cup from someone else that's full of muddy gunk no you're not so really considering what you're putting into your cup okay so that you can attract the same okay i hope that made sense meandering pathway flow okay scorpio yes see 
you have a destination that you want to get to okay the thing Scorpio is that you don't want to walk the path you don't some of you don't want to walk the hard path it's like you just want to get there you want to jump over all the bushes and just get there but the thing is that's not the way there you're not going to get there because the the um you know the destination is is further that way than what it actually is to walk the windy path right um and there's going to be some tough times yes like every journey uh you're going to have to stop for petrol and refuel you know there's different things you're going to have to do you're going to have to stop and rest along the way and keep going you know you're going to have to cut down some of the trees because they're thorny and they're prickly and you need to get rid of them some of the parts of the path are going to be a breeze right there's all sorts along the journey, but you learn from that, yeah? You, <sighs> okay, I feel like here, yeah, there's some of you that have held on to a vision for so long, it's impossible for you to see something new. And so this path is taking you down uh, to a, a destination that you don't know what it is. So it's up to you to actually um, really be flexible, I feel. I feel like some of you are not being flexible, okay? You're in your head. You're not able to see what it is that could actually be created here. Okay, um, and, it, and, and it really is about going with the flow massively. I can't even stress that enough. You have to go with the flow. Okay, your head is getting in the way. It absolutely is. Okay, um, and it is keeping you down. You are, you are keeping yourself suppressed, Scorpio. And it's time to break free from that. It's time to allow yourself to break free from that. Okay. Our spirit. Wisdom. The other thing I just want to say about that is it's easy to see and look around you how other people might be keeping you down. And that very well be maybe the case, Scorpio, that you're attra you've attracted people into your life that keep you down because that's what you have put out there. Okay. Um. And I mean that in the most loving way. It's not a put down and it's not a judgment. We do it to ourselves, believe me. I have done it to myself too. Okay, our spirit wisdom. Yeah, see Scorpio, um, it's like it's like taking this break on the path, right? You've gone down the path, as I just can't even imagine like where this is leading to. And there's this owl, this wise owl above you, who is actually your higher self. This owl, I feel, is you. And the owl is there to guide the way. The owl is there to help you along the way. It's there to have a bird's eye view of what is going on. Okay, and um, and I feel like maybe this is important for you to actually step into that energy, to rise above a little bit and see that actually, because sometimes it's easy to get stuck in the moment um of like oh this this is really crap I, I don't like this at all and not actually going above the situation and seeing that okay this is just a blip along the way and I can keep going you know um I really 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 love this and also there's wings on this person and it's like they don't even realize that they have the wings to fly and carry themselves there um and i feel as though scorpio that you need to tap in to the the internal magic within you to realize that you have so much more um to offer than what even you realize letting go really really walking away Making that choice to walk away from all that does not serve you, from all that keeps you down. You know, even if it is something that you have attracted to yourself, who cares? Just step away, okay? And I feel like once you do, you are going to move, you, you're actually going to fly. Um, and that's going to be scary. But again, Scorpio, go with it, okay? Ancient oak spirit strength. 
letting this internal strength out because it is in there but it's kind of been suppressed for so long that it's like it's like this internal light that hasn't been able to get out okay and it's been trying to find different ways out and, and little bits of it have but it's almost like Scorpio and you need to fling the doors open and just let it out okay let it out so it becomes your ordinary okay um I do feel like there's been um something that you have grown and it's like actually I feel like there's something it, it, it's it's sort of like it's just become familiar to you and you're there wandering along this path because it's a familiar path um, and it's time to really step onto a new path. Projections. <sighs> Some of you are trying to decide which path to take. I want to say about this, just be careful, Scorpio, not to sit and look for too long because there will maybe opportunities that you miss, okay? Um, so if this is your fears. Your fears are stopping you from making a choice and, um, and it could also be people around you getting in your head going, don't do that. Like, like what's going to happen to me if you do that? How could you? Don't desert me. You know, there could be people who are kind of putting a bit of a guilt trip on you um, and want you to keep walking this ordinary path uh, because that suits them, okay? Um, standing stones, that may have come up last time for you. Not sure if that was you. Was it you? Let's see how I just about ate the card then. Anyway, standing stones, passage. Scorpio, this is a sacred journey. This is a journey that is just for you. This is a journey that you could go on. And, and this is the thing. It really is not standing there deciding, should I, shouldn't I? Um, it's, it's about taking the journey. Stepping onto that path regardless. Because there are people... Where is it? There are people who will come and support you. There are people who will cheer you on. Okay, there are people who will be happy that you are participating in this sacred journey. Right? And this sacred journey is what your heart is calling for. This is what is in your heart of hearts. This is your true passage. And it's really up to you, Scorpio, to kind of step out of the comfortable and into the unknown in order to participate on the sacred journey. And you can't go wrong because there's no wrong choice. Every choice is right. This is for you to live this dream that you dream of. This is what you dream and you're sitting here going, wish I could have that. You can. You can have it. You can have it all. You can have it all, right? You can have it all. Beyond illusion. It's really allowing yourself to see. See, look here. It's like these wings here, exactly the same as this. Looking beyond the illusion that you're stuck with what you're, you've got. There's so much more out there for you, Scorpio. So much more. It's just familiar to you, which is maybe why it feels might feel right. Um, it's comfortable. So this is really stepping... I just love how these two, like this is like the third eye thing, like this is really, really tapping in and listening to the inner voice to guide you, to lead the way. You know, Scorpio, your soul knows, okay, and it's trusting that soul because the soul is already on this path. 
it's just waiting for you to catch up okay i hope that helps you scorpio um getting into that stillness is going to help you to every time you're not sure what decision to make going into the stillness will help you tap in to what is the best thing for you um have a look on youtube scorpio for for meditations to help you get into that space it will take practice but that will be something that definitely definitely um, helps you to walk the passage the sacred path that is meant for you okay and along the way you will meet people who um, definitely are there just cheering for you every step of the way okay so Scorpio I will leave that with you please subscribe and like and comment and share and do all that stuff um, so that we can help other people heal as well okay take care Scorpio see you bye bye